What's up YouTube, NCG here, bringing to you guys a deck that I'm sure I promised you a lot when the, once the new set drops. But now there is an update to my Goki deck profile. So, Goki's got a ton of support both indirectly and not non-indirectly in terms of its extra deck to be now a full-fledged competitive viable deck. Now, not to say that Gokis haven't been good in the past. I personally think that Gokis have always been good. Um, just It was just finding the play styles that suited Gokis at that point in time. Before, it was a, just a consistent stun deck in its own way. Gokis being a consistent part and the stun being in terms of your traps and that. But now you can go full of consistency with meta, um, or within the meta, to summon giant stupid boards Boards that I haven't even personally fully learned yet, and I'm still learning as this as this goes. But I will show you some combos that I found um, just through my own personal playtesting that involves just like a suplex and something else. That ends in a nice board that I think um, if you can't make the fully fledged plays and you can't um, and you haven't learned the fully fledged plays yet, using that combo to make that um, to make these boards that I've found um, is a good starting point. Um, so with all that said and done guys, I'm gonna go through the deck and explain the choices that I have made. So for your Gogis, you've gotta have your free Suprex. Suprex is your, like your best card in the deck. It starts all of your plays um, if you open with him. So you've gotta play free Suprex. Now I play free Twist Cobras. Um, I know some people drop this down to two, um, but in my personal build, I play the um, Invoker combo, well, and basically I just play MX Zebra Invoker, and Twist Cobra is another level three that can help you go into Invoker, while also just being another Goki name, and it also helps you in the grind games that you can be put into at times. Um, three Headbutt Bats. This is probably now one of the uh, second card best card in the deck, just because it extends your plays, gives you another Goki special summon. And is another and is a good card to summon off the is old. Now one of the new cards you play two octo. I think three is too much. Um, if you're up against like maybe a burn deck, you could probably side in a third one. I guess it does half um, effect damage by discarding it. But this is mostly in here for being a Goki name and to summon off the is old, uh, just because it's a level one. Now, out of the big guys, I do play two Risings and one Hugbear. I personally like the two Risings because Rising does help you in a Trickster matchup just because it is a strong normal summon that you can just get onto the board and they can have a little bit of an issue dealing over big monsters. Um, while that being just another name that you can summon off your stuff. And Hugbear is literally in here just to, to just be another name. So, there we go. That's all the go keys. I do play the Predapon engine. I do play three Scorpios and one Cobra. This is to help you get into your MX Saber Invoker, just in case your hand is a, like basically doesn't have a Super X in it. You can summon MX Saber Invoker and go off with your big combos. Um, and it can grab you Instant Fusion, which can gap, grab you your uh, Warrior Fusion target that you play. And then you can make your result and just do some crazy shenanigans. So that's why that's in there. And I do play two jump forwards. Um, if I kind of want to take the Predator Plant engine out at times and just up um, jump forward to three and probably put in another warrior. Just focus on the result straight away. But so far the Predator Plant engine is doing me pretty well. So it's going to stay for now, but we'll see in future profiles. So that's the, that's the deck. Oh, jump forward is just a easy to special summon level three warrior that you can make your invoker with. Um, it's an earth as well, um, but it's also searchable off the years old um, so that you can protect your Goki searches in terms of chain links and as a discard out there for your nightmares. So, spells. Three of the best cards in the deck. I still think rematch you've got to play at three. Um, I do know that some people have been having some success with two copies, but I just think three just helps you so much in the grind games. You just want to have rematch to make your players go off and continue so that I play free rematch. I've never found free free rematch to be dead. I always want it in my hands. So one ofs, a lot of one ofs actually. Uh, so we have one ups, uh, one reinforcements of the army, 
when up, start goblin to make a bit more consistency. Get into your guards. Uh, instant fusion for your predator plant target. Rageki because it's Rageki and Monster Reborn because it's Monster Reborn. These are some really strong one offs, you just gotta have them. Rageki is like optional in and out, you can have it in the main deck, you can have it out the main deck. Um, it's completely up to personal preference. Now, I don't play hand traps, but instead I play free cool by the graves. I think hand traps it can be a bit dead in a deck like this. You like you just need combo pieces, you need your combo plays. I understand that all your combo players, most at least most of them, just require like two cards. But uh, it's it's up to you, I guess. If you want to play hand traps and so cool by the grave, you can gladly do so. Um, I just think cool by the grave is a lot better because then you just stop the hand traps that affect you, and then your pause just affect your opponent. So I just play free cool by the grave. It helps me so much. I do play one double summon. Double summon does actually help you a lot um, to extend your plays even further. You, if you have a suplex and another Goki in hand with this, and you, you just want to keep going, play this and you get another summon. If you haven't done like a something that can't be stacked with this, um, so double summon's been doing pretty well for me. I do play three crypt targets: one divine sword Phoenix Blade, one twin swords Flash and Light Twist, and one Power of the Guardians. Um, Phoenix Blade is the latest equip addition to the deck. You can just send it off the old to your plays, and then you can vanish to voice, add this back to your hand, and then you can ditch it off the Nightmare Goblin for your additional normal. It does pretty well for this deck. Um, these two targets are just for my own fun personal um, tech ideas, just to give Ball and Topologic Bummer just some additional firepower. Giving them additional attacks is really good for their abilities because they're not once per turn. So those are the spells. I do play some traps. Um, they're all stun traps, except for one. I play one warning, one judgment, two strikes, so your Solemn Brigade. This just helps you combat pretty much anything in the game. And I do play my, again, another personal tech um, is Power of Poor Armor. Give this to one of your links. It cannot be destroyed by card effects, and I think it can't be targeted. Yep. Um, it has an additional effect in the graveyard that is also can be used on the same turn as sent, where you can banish it and two links to give one of your links an additional attack. Um, so it's a really strong trap card in my personal opinion for a deck like this, where you're spamming links for days. Um, even at times if I have this already set and I'm doing my link plays, um, I will just make a link, activate this, equip it to that link and then link off with it just to get this dump this into a graveyard. Especially if I'm going for like a ball load or a bomber, then I can get those additional attacks to them. And either steal two things with um, ball or dragon or do like some additional burns with top logic. That's my main deck. For my extra deck, there's a lot of one I was like, so one ball or dragon, one top logic bomber, one firewall, these are the link fours that I play. Um, ball load and bomber. Um, are for like they're just pretty much my ace monsters. These are the ones I always go into the most. Firewall is in here for those big massive combos where you can make stupid boards, but um, I again haven't learnt them fully yet. So firewall's just in here just in case. Um, so there's that. For my link freeze, I play one great ogre, one Trispania, and one nightmare unicorn. Uh, nightmare unicorn Trispania. Um, are for like certain matchups. The Nightmare Unicorn is just pretty strong in its own right. I'm um, giving you additional draws if it's co linked and just bouncing stuff back, I think, when it's linked summoned. Yep. Uh, Trispania is for those really back row heavy decks it's that helped me really a lot against my Alter Geist play matchups. Um, Trispania is just so so good. And Great Ogre, yes, I know no one plays Great Ogre. You, um, in most sense, in most cases, you just take Great Ogre out. But Great Ogre has actually won me a few games at times. If I just, again, put into those grind games where you do get into those, um, Great Ogre does help you a lot. You can take Great Ogre out and put in uh, either the Nightmare Griffin or you can put in the um, Trigate Wizard. So I guess Great Ogre is the option there. For your link twos now, it's a lot of them. So Nightmare Goblin, Nightmare Cerberus, Nightmare Phoenix, 
Um, these are the nightmares. You've got to play these guys. Um, Gokis can be a budget deck if built correctly. Most of your um, money is in the extra deck. But if you're starting the, get the game and you want to pick up Gokis, go on and get these guys. These two are really cheap because they're just supers. You can pick up like probably like play sets for like three quid here in the UK. Nightmare Goblin will push you like maybe eight, five or eight pounds if you're lucky. Uh, eight pounds definitely because that's how much I got mine. But five pounds if you're lucky and find someone nice enough to do that for you. But you gotta at least get one Nightmare Goblin. They just help you so much. Uh, Phoenix protects your co-linked monsters from being destroyed by battle. Cerberus protects your co-linked monsters from being destroyed by card. Um, card effects and goblin protects them your monsters coding monsters from being targeted by by card effects two is old this is also another one of the money cards in the deck um these go for about eight pounds each but you've got to get at least one is old i play two just because you do go to an old more than anything the mrs radiant um i think this is like your third is old if you can't pick up two is old you can only afford one because of the nightmare goblin as well just pick up two Mrs. Radiance. Uh, one Nightmare Mermaid. This is for your big massive combos with like the um, Firewall and that. But you've got to play like the main deck Nightmare Monster I think as well. So that's on its way for me. So who knows. Once I've got that and I play test with, big, with the big massive combos like Trigate, Wizard and all that kind of stuff. I will bring you another combo video. And then for my non links, it's the Invoked um, Raging and MX Saber Invoker for your Predator Plant players. Um, Invoked Rage, um, Raging is done me so well, just because you can um, one time against an Ulti Geist player, summoned my Trispania, and I instant fusioned into the Invoked Raging underneath it. So Trispania activates and I just change Ragin's um, flip effect to it. So my opponent couldn't alter guys um, protocol my Trispania because you know the Ragin chain links and all that. So invoke Ragin's really good, but you can just go with any fusion target. I personally recommend a warrior just because you know you just get that additional um, benefit of it being a warrior so guys that's the deck i hope you enjoyed it i'll bring you another video with the combo um because the combo is long and but don't worry it will be uploaded after this deck profile so stay tuned to the channel to see that combo if you're interested and um they'll probably i think there'll be two combos in there because there's one involving the um just go keys on their own in your opening hand, there's one involving the Predator Plant engine as well. So I'll bring you two combos after this, guys. So don't you worry. If you enjoy the step profile, please leave a like, comment, saying what you enjoyed it, saying what you like, saying what you don't like. Obviously, everyone's entitled to their own opinions, and I respect all of them. And I will just explain why I play Gokis the way I do. I play them in a fun but competitive environment as well. Um, so there's that. I just suit it to my playstyle, which I think is one of Goki's very good strong points. It is a very um, personal playstyle deck, and you can just play it however you want to. So guys, again, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you then.